So what is up bosses, it's your boy Boss Fabon and welcome back to episode number 2 of the full release of Silence Channel. Can I now go this way? I cannot now go this way, so we need a 4 digit code for that door. Don't remember if I got a 4 digit code around here, I obviously have that B23 or B32 thing, I don't know if that's going to be used for that, I do believe that that's just going to be a number, right, let's just change now, just B42 and that still says cry, okay, was that a battery now? Oh, there's a battery. Oh, yes. I guess for the flashlight. I guess I'll check down here in case anything's changed here. Because this very much so is a game that allows me to go down here. And this also very much so is a game that you go back to the same place and then things actually change. So, I want to make sure that I'm not going to miss anything. Oh, hush. That's right. Okay, so that is hush then. And why can I not... Oh, is it one? Oh, it's one. There we go. Oh, God. I don't like how... The flashlight is like this then, especially that lovely animation of actually putting it away. So hush, H-U-S-H -H is for this. I thought it was numbers because I'm sure I saw 0000 on this, but I guess, I mean, even though it might be like just one letter corresponds to the number or what number corresponds to the letter, should I say? Is it letters or numbers? Is numbers. So unfortunately, I had to look up the code. It's 8442, apparently. I have absolutely no idea why it's 8442. But I guess there we freaking go. It's 8442. Don't know why. B32 and Hush. Not sure how you'd get 8442 from them. The truth isn't often what we are facing. Jesus Christ, like the freaking loading screens end before I've even finished reading that one sentence there. Right, where are we now then? We have, okay, a cassette tape, awesome. And then, okay, there's nothing on there. The disc is slightly out on that one. Was that, is that something here? Oh, there we go, another battery, awesome. So we are gonna be using this torch for a relatively long time then, if we've got two double A freaking Duracell batteries, like Duracell batteries last an extremely long time. And this, is, I believe, the same place as in... Where's that game that I played quite recently? That one-off horror game. Yes, I remember this. And it's like, this door wasn't open before, right? We just couldn't open that door. It's locked in. Okay. Where are we now, then? Like a full house. Right, where have we got around here? I don't really need to use my torch that much, so I guess that's good. There we go. Perfect. That's now three, right? Yes, three... And I've still got this lighter, but this lighter just isn't used for anything. Yeah, so I can... Oh, I guess shortcut. There we go. And then that's fine. Then maybe I can shortcut the batteries as well. So that's where I just was. That's where I can't go. I guess we'll try the front door. I mean, mine's freaking well. Okay, can't go there. Can't go there either. Let's do this floor first and then go upstairs. I thought I was a cot then. Jesus Christ. Don't like that freaking sound. Wherever that was. I can't open them bottom ones. Can't open the blinds. One of the blinds is open slightly there. Can't see anything outside though. Or we have a no, or we just have a picture of something. That's a jar full of something. And I guess that jar full of something is in there, so I'm very glad that's freaking locked, even though I have no idea what that jar full of something is. Or I guess contains. Alright, so it's only these drawers that I can open. None of these... Like that. And that is a very weird collision detection type thing they've got going on there. Let's just ignore that for now. So there's nothing on this floor that we can actually do. So I guess I'll go upstairs then. When in doubt, go upstairs. As long as we're not going in the... I guess we've already been in the basement. So we've got the scariest part over and done with. That's completely fine. Locked both of them. Okay. Well, that means... Oh, no. There's a note here. Although I find it quite difficult, I have opened a new journal after two years. I have tried to leave this past behind. I would like to start over. I want to leave this town. Every part of this place reminds me of the memories I was asked to forget by the doctor. Perhaps it is better to start fresh. March 19 of the 80. Okay, no one's behind me. Perhaps it's good to start fresh. Okay then, I guess that's good in some situations. What's not good is that I haven't got anything and I feel like I've explored everywhere, right? I guess not thoroughly enough. Like there might just be an item around here that I need. Oh no, I can open these. What was that? Need to use here. And we have another. Oh no, I, I can't. Why, why did I completely forget that I can crouch? Here we go. Oh, here we go. 
One umbrella. Something pipe. Something musical note. Something fire. Okay. I need to find one or two more of that. And I can open these drawers. Jesus Christ, mate. Have we got another battery? It'd be annoying finding a battery now. I'd much prefer just a bit of freaking scrumpled up paper. Oh, so, like, yeah, I can't open that. So, that's just a door then. That's not. That is a blind, but it's just a door there. Alright, check on the count here. We have two eggs there. Check to see if there's just another bit of paper around here. That is. Does that say plain flour? Plain flour, 1.5 kilograms, I do believe that says. On here, can I open? I can open these. Here we go. Is that sun? Alright, then, can I just combine you with you then? No, because that's the two ends, right, of the bit of paper, so I need, like, the bit in the middle. Maybe there might be another bit downstairs, so... I got you there, didn't I? So... That means the only other place I haven't got a note is upstairs. I mean, I've read this note, but it must mean... Maybe I can open these drawers? No. Oh, wait, was that... Oh, I can open this drawer, here we go. There's nothing in there. Yeah, I can't open that one. Alright then, but it must be in here, right? Or it must be up here, even. Well, that's very horrifying that I can freaking do that. Is it, like, in the plant pot somewhere? That would have been a cool hiding space. I don't know. I don't think it's up here. I don't think... Oh, no. Never mind. Is this... Oh, I really thought that was something then. Like, it was going to be hidden behind there. Oh, wait, I can... I can try and open that. Or use that. Open the freaking light switch. Brilliant. Right, so I, I really just can't combine that with you now, then. Oh, I can. Oh, that was just it. Okay. One umbrella, two pipes, three musical note, four fire. And then the umbrella... Okay, the pipe and the note is when it's sunny. Why do I need that? don't know why that's something I need. Um, Not really anything to do with you. I feel like I read something about a musical note, though, right? Or like a bit of music, anyway. I'm sure I read something about that. Why do I have that, though? I feel like having the torch means I really need it for something. Or fire. Well, oh, there's a book in there. I can't really do anything with that. So that's fire. I found fire. I guess I need to find all of the things. So what? what's the other stuff again? Umbrella, pipe, musical note, fire. So umbrella, pipe instrument and fire so that's fire there fire's last so i guess i interact with you last so i need an umbrella is there an umbrella around anywhere here i guess i can also just go back downstairs right like th this is still somewhere that i can go just fully back downstairs i guess maybe yeah i feel like just having the torch on is best right there might be just some stuff around here yeah, I can just fully go back through here. So, was it all here? Here we go. This is it, right? So, that's a fire musical note. That's not something that I need to interact with. Oh, no, this is something I can open. Yeah, that's really freaking obscure, like, where you actually have to look to open it. So, no wonder I didn't actually do that before. I can... There we go, perfect. Oh, is that off or on? That's on there. I can't just interact with this then, right? I can't interact with that either. Relax collection, volume one or two, whatever that said. And I can not open them. Okay. A piece of paper that can be effective in solving the puzzle. Double click on the item on it to use the item menu. Examine house and drawers carefully. Turn on some lights. Turning on some lights can show you the way. Okay. So I just need to turn on as many lights as I can. Where are the light switches? Here we go. There and there. Has that done anything that wasn't already there? Don't think so. And is that... That's there? Is that just lighting up some stuff that I couldn't see before, maybe? I have no idea. Oh, that's a pipe there. That's a pipe there, right? I think. Pretty sure that's a pipe there, okay. Well, I can't interact with that, though, so... All well and good you be in there, mate. Are there any more 
light switches though, or just them. Obviously, I can turn on just the lights like that. Is there any around here? What's this? Then that's just a bit of the wall. Like a bit of the wall just without the freaking, what's it called? Like the wallpaper. Alright, I feel like that's everywhere. Lit up then, right? So that room's lit up, that room's lit up there. And then that light's on, that light's on. There's no just external light there, right? Just room light, I guess. So I guess we'll go upstairs. So this light's on as well. Is the yeah, this doesn't turn on, yeah. Oh, there's one here. Oh, so that's okay. That's gonna be turned on with that. So that's the only light in the house that's not on, but I can't turn that one on. Uh, although I find it quite difficult, I've opened the new journal after two years. I've tried to leave the past behind, but to start over, I want to leave this town. Every part of this place reminds me of the memories I was asked to forget by the doctor. Perhaps it's better to start fresh. Well, that doesn't really help me out too much. Okay, so I've just remembered that the umbrella is obviously upstairs. It's that thing there. So what I'm thinking is that because they said turning on the light shows the way, maybe I have to turn on the lights in a certain order. So it's upstairs first. Yeah, the umbrella's right there. Tell me if I just completely forgot about that. So... You can't be turned on, right? Yes. There. Umbrella first. And then I turn on this light right here. So it's just these. I don't think it's going to be the main lights. So it's umbrella. Then it's pipe. Then make sure that the order's actually correct. Is the order correct? Yes. Then it's musical note. Then it's downstairs. Then it's fire. So it's downstairs. Just the main light downstairs. And then... Is that... That was already on. Why were you already on? I'm sure I turned that off right, didn't I? Oh, and this is now off. Has this been turned off by itself? I'm not too sure. Alright, there we go. And now we'll just turn on that one... Near the fire, right? Does that lamp near the fire? Or maybe was that meant to be left on? Because it was on, right? It's on again now. What? Oh, you're off. Um, what? Is that definitely correct then? So... Oh, wait. So, moon, sun, sun, moon. What is... Oh, that means... Okay, I get it. Yeah, that means... You're meant to be off. And then, yeah, that's why... The game's turning the lights off. So, you're meant to be off. And then, this one and downstairs is meant to be on... But then the one next to the fire is meant to be off. So then hopefully now, when I go downstairs, yeah, you're both... No, you're meant to be on. You're meant to be on. You're meant to be off. What? The pipe's meant to be on, and the fire's meant to be off. You turn the fire on, right? So what if I do that way, and then you're on? No. You're off. But then, you turn that one back on. How do I turn you on without you being on? Or is it maybe, is this one still on down here and that's messing it up? I think I've done it. Is this good? Unless you turn on, do you turn on the one at the back as well? Or you don't turn, yeah, you've just, oh my, I don't understand this. I really don't understand how this works. So I interact with that one, and that does everything. So I turn you on, that doesn't affect this one. How on earth do I get this one off, and this one on? I am so confused. Oh yeah, so the umbrella needs to be off, and the fire needs to be off. But this one needs to be on somehow. This one needs to be on with these two off. Jesus Christ, my brain is so freaking hurting now. I have absolutely no idea still what this is doing. I've turned you off, that turned you off, and you're on. So you're on, you're off, I turned this on, and what does that do? Turned you on, the going down these stairs is so slow, that's really annoying me. That has done absolutely nothing. And then I turned this one on, does that just mean that all of them are on now? Yes, you're on, you're on. Then all of them are on, this one turns off everything, I'm pretty sure, right? But then it doesn't, like, I can't just reverse that. No, you'd only turn off that one. But then this turned off. Does it do something different with you on, maybe? Like, if I do that, does that do something different? I have no idea. 
yeah, that literally nothing can turn this one off. So that one of the tops off. Yes. And these two are on. I feel like that should work now with this one down here. As long as this one down here is off, I don't know what ones actually turn this one off though. Yes, this one's off. So one of them upstairs turns this one off apparently. So that should now be correct. So the first and the last one is off, is on. Then two and three is off. That is closed. Oh Jesus. That is correct. Hello mate, how are we doing? Jesus Christ, my brain. Like, nothing against the game. I just could not freaking work that out then. Jesus Christ. So, everything... Everything is now on then? No. So, everything... Okay, so them two are on. Then I guess downstairs is off then, right? And I guess now one of these are open. I guess maybe that downstairs one with that freaking picture on the door. I'm guessing this is now open, right? That's locked, okay. So the only other door will be just right here. That's locked as well. What? Um, well, let me just check. So, yeah, you're off upstairs. And the fire's off. The fire isn't off. No, the fire's not off. So this isn't correct. Oh, Jesus, there we go. I did it. I succeeded. Hell yes. And there we go. That very much so is now a door that's open. Julia was never introduced as one of the spinners. It seemed as if Julia was the only child in the mansion and Julia would play the role of my daughter on the other side of the mansion. Unlike others, and despite the disapproval, Julie loved her sister. She spent most of her time with Julia in her small room, which had become her dungeon. None of them knew they were sisters, or maybe they both did, and just pretended to be strangers. September 1988. Wonderful. Where is this, then? That is, I guess, the room that they were in? Oh, God, okay. That's the same... Oh, hello! No face, people. Am I going in here? I am going through here. That's nice. These are not something I can interact with. That's still there. Brilliant. This is very cool. Like, going through these, I guess, just freaking windows without the glass there is how I can describe them. Can I... Okay, there we go. Can uncrouch then. Let's not fall through the freaking void. Am I... I think I'm still crouching, but I can't uncrouch. I just got a limbo achievement. Hell yes. These achievements are very terrifying because you just see the freaking non-faces of people. I can't go through there. I do still have my torch. That's something I very much so would like here, so I'm glad that I have it. Oh, there's writing here. What does this say? Why do these memories follow me? No clue, mate. I'm just going to be dropping down here now. Wonderful. Dropping into water. Fantastic. Here is a word, but it sometimes break the wall, breaks the wall around a word. What is this sound that I am now hearing? Is this me? I guess this is me stood up. I'm now in water. Fantastic. Being in water in horror games is the absolute best thing ever. We have a singular door. We have... Six candles to greet us to this singular door. This is the door that we saw before, actually, right? Like, with the weird window there. But like a prison door. I right, finally out of the water. My guy is so freaking slow walking upstairs. Jesus Christ, and I guess in water as well. We got you there. You're actually moving now. You're actually a physical being. All right, then, mate. Glad to see you've gone now. Is it Hello Neighbor 1? No, it's not Hello Neighbor 1. We can't freaking go through that. Or open it and then go through that. Oh, is this the room? We can open this. We can turn on the electricity, which in this universe means that something weird happens, right? A plus B equals 32. B plus C equals 68. So... A plus B, 32. I, I forget how you actually work this out. So A plus B, obviously that's a number. So that could be 16 plus 16 is 32. And then B is 16. C could just be 68 minus 16. It's both 16. So B equals 16. A equals 16. C equals something else. That could be the answer. I guess I'll see. I mean, I need to see where I need to put it into for actually to actually be able to work that out properly. But in theory, that could be correct. But then usually it gives me, like, what A or C is, and then that makes it harder, obviously. Like, it's a lot easier if you just don't know what any of the numbers are. 
But I can't interact with any of them. What we got here? I am part of you as you will be part of me. Fantastic. I need... Jesus Christ. I need ten. Ten digits. Holy crap. Alright then. Where am I getting these ten digits from then? There's another box here. There might be something behind here. Never mind. Are there more boxes actually? Oh, this is... Okay, that's blocked off now. Are there any more boxes in here? There is not. Can I move this out of the way? No, I cannot. Oh, there's a thing up there. Okay. Well, I bought this box just into all the rooms to see if there was somewhere to actually jump up. Because like we did in episode one. There is actually a vent here. Okay. Oh, God. Where am I? Can I jump up here? I can't seem to jump up here. Do I need to bring the box up, maybe? Can I bring... No, I can't bring the box up, I guess. There's two boxes. Do I need to get the second box and use that to jump up? Because there's one more box in here, right? One more box is just there for the sake of being there. This must have something to do with stuff, so... Yeah, I guess if I put this box on the, on the first box, then jump up there... I guess put you like that. Oh no, I, you need to actually be on there properly. But on there so that I can still jump up on the first box. So I guess I put you like that and then I can put you resting on the thing. This has proper physics though, so I need to be careful. And then, yeah, I can still get up and then I can grab this box. There we go, perfect. And then I can use that to go there. Yeah, the, these physics are way too realistic. I'm used to freaking Hello Neighbor physics when it comes to box stacking. Right, here we go. So, that B, A, B, and C freaking bullcrap. I don't actually have to do that right now. I'm pretty sure that was right, though, because before it said B32, it didn't say B equals 32. Then again, I don't think the game will be that mean for you to actually have to remember something that long ago. A24. Oh. A24, B32. Really? How does that work? 24 plus 32. Oh no, because there's no... Because there's no sum, right? The equals is nothing. Oh no, the equals is... No, the equals is... 32. 24 plus 32 does not equal 32 game. Sorry to freaking break it, do you? So I guess B doesn't equal 32 then. So if A equals 24... Then B is 8... So, 8, so C is 60. A is 24, B is 8, C is 60. Okay, 24, 0, 8, 60, I guess, is the freaking thing. I hope that A is 24, or is it 26? Is 24 or 26? I can't remember, and I guess this is just A equals B equals C equals, right? Is the code? So, I'll try 24, yeah, A, B, C. I'll try 24 first. 24... Uh, yeah, then that's 08. Then you're 60. Oh, oh, it's just... Okay, so... It's not going to be 08. It's just going to be 8. 60. There we go. Granted. Hell yes. Name, Sarah Safavi. Date of hospitalization, July 1978. That was a perfect pronunciation of that word then. Status... End of treatment. Medical summary. Sarah lost her baby Julia in a fire in 1977, Star Wars year, and consequently suffered from acute depression. He felt guilty about her child's death and not being able to save her. Her depression had become so severe that she denied her child's death and had delusions about being with her daughter. With her? Is that the freaking with her there? Jesus Christ, mate. In July 1978, she was taken to this hospital by her husband. A week after an event at which she claimed she was looking for her child outdoors. Her treatment started as soon as she was admitted to the hospital. The persistence in therapy sessions contributed to her recovery as she is now able to leave the psychiatric hospital. According to our previous discussions, she would probably like to work as a nanny. We believe that having this job under the supervision of a specialist, in addition to us, can help her with her recovery. It must be taken into consideration that the patient might or might revert to her previous status in case of emotional trauma. February 1980. That seems like a moment that will make things happen, yes! Thank you for that! November Nightmare. Something very much so happened in November, didn't it? Was that in November then? Does it say November? It just said July 1978. Okay, so... Freaking three months or four months technically before November. Right, another big drop, I guess. What does that say? Hush, okay. 
going back to the hush thing then, are we? Was this? Was that water or was that a bunch of dolls there? Back in the freaking water? Oh no, we're in a bath this time, okay. Are we getting out of the bath? We are moving in the bath, okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to potentially leave this episode 2 of Silence Channel here. Obviously, probably a decent amount, like a quarter, maybe even a half of this episode is going to be Kyle because it was just me trying to figure out that freaking light puzzle. Very good puzzle. I just could not freaking figure out myself. I mean, I did eventually figure out myself, but my god... It probably took me about 10-15 minutes just to figure that puzzle out. But this game is still a very good horror game. Cannot wait to actually find out what happened to this woman and just why everyone doesn't have a face. That's the bit that I'm most curious about, but I guess. We will learn all of that in the next episode. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to end episode number two of Silence Channel. As usual, there'll be a link in the description if I jump yourself. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did subscribe for our brand new Let's Play the Boy Boss Fat one. Thanks for watching, of course, as always. Peace.